evening everyone i'm here once again to share with you the word of god by authority of jesus christ of nazareth which is the head of the church man shall not live by bread alone but by the word of god that proceeds out of the mouth of god his words give us life in this world in this wicked world praise the lord so i'm here this evening to share with you the world the topic of my message go this way good thing in marriage life amen may you see good in your marital life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth if you are not yet find that good thing may the lord give you that strength give you that grace to see that good thing in marital life in jesus name if your marriage is broken almighty god will help you to restore your marital life in jesus name no man is perfect no woman is perfect praise the lord it's just the grace of god his grace of god that help us because marital life is something that we is something that we are not it's something that that that's not something that beyond human let me put it in this way it's something that beyond human take by the spirit of god to be able to live a peaceful marriage like marital life and see that good in your marital life praise the lord so because marriage life devil always try to come with war but what will keep you in your hope what will save your hope is by prayer prayer is powerful Praise the Lord. Prayer is powerful. Prayer change things. If you be a married woman, you know how to keep your home with prayer. You will see that you subdue many things by prayer. Amen. So let's see what scripture says. I'm taking you to prover and see what the word of God says to us there. Praise the Lord. So Proverbs 18, 22. That say the Lord, the word of God say, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. And obtain favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. May you see that good thing. Who find the wife find the good thing? The Lord. For you to see that good thing is for you to put is for you to put your marriage in the hands of God. Praise the Lord. In the hands of God, not hands of friends, not hands of hand of people, not hands of this world. But this world is wicked. Praise the Lord. Because devil can use anyone to destroy your home praise master jesus so for you to have that good thing to find that good thing in your marital life is for you to sow your marital life in the hands of god praise the lord where do you sow your marital life are you sow your marital life in the matter of the world praise the lord are you sow your marital life in the hand of friends are you sowing your marital life in the hand of your family member because so not easily sow their marital life to their family, sow their wife to their family, their father, their, their husband to their family. Is who is there will decide what happened in your home. Praise Master Jesus. So we all sometimes come in different ways in marital life. Your husband can be able to come with family of 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 polygamous so, or the way it depends the way that they brought up. They show that character in their family, in marital life. Praise the Lord. But what can save you there is the word of God, is by prayer. It's when you close to God, you sow that marriage into the hands of God. Because you still find that the wife find that the good thing. You see that good thing in your marital life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I'm going to take you through this verse, Galatians, Galatians 6. 6 to 8. Let's see what scripture says to Praise the Lord. I may possess a borelu. I may possess a borelu. On a bokore kaka. O kaka buto. I may possess a I may possess a borelu. I may possess a borelu. Oh no, bokore kaka, o kaka buto. I may possess a borelu. Nothing God cannot do. Nothing God cannot do, and He has done it before, and He will do it again. When you bring your marital life into his hand, he will do it for you. Praise the Lord. So, Galatians 6, 7 to 8, I'm going to receive. Be not deceived. God is 
not mock for God is not mock. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall him also reap. Praise the Lord. What are you sowing in your marital life? Praise the Lord. What are you sowing in your marital life? Is what you sow that proceed is what you sow that germinates and, 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 and produce for you. Praise the Lord. You sow your marital life, you sow it in a good way in the hands of God, you will produce that good thing in your marital life. It's for the both sides. It's not just only to women where I'm talking about. You know, so sometimes we say women, women, women. No. It's not just only to women. The, but it's the two sides, the two people that face it, that, that face this challenge. Because marriage, say, God said that what God has brought together, let no man put asunder. Have you let me to put a soda into your marital life? Depends the way you saw it. Because what's so a man so is free. Even some can even easily to use man to destroy their husband. Destroy that is to use man. To just destroy their husband, to use man to sow it. Man, man, the word of man is powerful. When you saw it like that, it happened. When you saw it in that way, and those things begin to manifest in your marital life, is what you saw with your mouth. Praise the Lord. Keep your home. It's only God can help you. And put your home into the hands of God. And so your marital life is to the hands of God. And God is only God can help you. And it's God that also brings people together. Praise the Lord. So I will take you to the next verse and see what it says. What's a man? What a man saw that this seven say is what you read. Depends what you saw into your marital life, is what you read. So good in your marital life is what you read. You so bad in your marital life as a man is what you read. It's for the two sides. Don't say there's only woman, woman. No. When we say woman don't have character. Also, men don't there are some men that also don't have character. It's not only woman don't have character. Praise the Lord. But it's by the word of God that we help us. It's word of God that is word of God that also change that that situation by the spirit of God that also change that character that you see in your wife that you see that is not good. It's by the spirit of God that we help you to change it. And by prayer, it did not change by argument. Argument did not solve anything because argument will produce devil will pass through the earth to produce more problem into your home. Praise the Lord. It's for you to handle it in prayer. So it says, For he that soweth to, to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting you hear what the word of god says he that sow it fresh if you sow your marriage in the fresh what the fresh i'm talking about this word is a wicked word praise the lord this word is a wicked word don't think that this word is continue they are in they are the heart of me is full of wickedness it's not just only because we all just confirm things that we see in our physical eye praise the lord the heart of men is full of wicked. Who you sow your marital, you don't know them. You don't know them who you are sowing your hope to. It's for you to bring it to God. God will help you to change any situation that you see that is not working your own. It's only by the Spirit of God you can see it. He will help you to change it. See here, he that sow it to the fresh. He will reap corruption. Praise the Lord. He will reap corruption. Praise the Lord. And he that soweth by the Spirit shall reap everlasting life. Sow your marital life into the hands of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And your marriage will be saved. You will see that good thing in your marital life. No one is perfect. Even though you leave your husband today, you say that I don't want, maybe you want divorce. You are still going, there. You are still going to meet, meet man because man prays for woman, woman prays for man. Praise the Lord. Is this the same man? No man is perfect. No woman is perfect. Praise the Lord. You know that? That's why sometimes it's still good. In time of relationship, will also show you the picture of the man that you are going to marry. Don't say that when you are in a relationship, you don't see the picture of your husband. If you say that, you are lying. Even though no matter you will pretend, all those little character that is showing you them is the thing that is telling you that this is the future of the man that you are going to be with. Praise the Lord. It be the husband that you know that he always beats you. Just know that is what you are going to end, is what you are going to face. Is that why you have to make decision? Praise the Lord. Is that why you have to make decision before you conclude? Praise Master Jesus. Because for relationship show 
the picture of who you married it showed to you it showed to you the type of man that he is praise the lord don't think that maybe you marry someone that for polygamous so that you did not come for polygamous so don't think that is the same character is what he learned is what he know is what the experience that he will also like to show to you but is by the is by the is is by the holy spirit that you can be able to change every situation that is not working don't sow your marriage to fresh sow it to the spirit so it's in the hands of god and holy spirit will help you to save your home will help you to produce protect you and you will find that good thing in your marital life praise the lord don't sow your marital life in the hands of the world here yeah, you meet a lot of things don't sow it in the flesh what are you sowing your marital life to praise the lord what are you sowing your marital life to ask yourself a question what are you sowing your marital life to is what you sow your marital life you will see praise the lord because Marital life, people always come because I a lot of a lot of complaint of marital life that in my altar that this one will complain, this one will complain. Truly, it's both of you that really know what is your problem. Because who side this side there will be against you side there. No, two of you really know exactly what is your problem. Before you marry, you see that picture. And you can't say that you are somebody that argues. You also went to go and marry the, the marry a lady that argued. Praise the Lord, that like argument. What are you expecting? Someone that have a temper, you went to marry. What are you expecting? Word of God. So what? So you read. What are you expecting? And it's by the power of God that will help you. By the by, by the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't do it like that, you are going to sow a bad seed because of the innocent children that you are born. You have to think before doing it because when it comes to marital life, it's not only yourself you think before you take any decision. Before you take any decision, think of the children and think of yourself. Think of the future you are sowing to all those children's life. Praise the Lord. And bring it to the hands of God for God to help you to change things there. Don't sow your marital life for the, for fresh because it's corruption that it produces. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to take you to this verse, see what the scripture says to us here. Scripture also tells here. Scripture tells here Hebrew 3 verse 4. Let's see what the word of God also says to us here. Praise Master. He said, For every it says, for every house is built by someone, but he that built all things is God. Hallelujah. Every house is built by someone, but who built all things, including marriage? It's God that built marriage. It's God that built marriage. If you want to marry, build your home, build your marital life in the hand of God. Build your marital life in the hands of God. No, not possible. Build it in the hands of God. Praise the Lord. So that your marital life will reap that everlasting life. And your marital life, your marital life, you will see that good thing in your marital life. Praise the Lord. Because it's God, is what sells to us, yeah? It's God that builds all things. What is not built in your marriage? It's only God can build it, build it for you. Not by your wisdom, praise the Lord. Even some people, we also have mother. Your mother, you know that your mother also built built a home, a police garment home. But you also depend on that your mother. If if care not taken, you will also experience the same thing. Because it's what is also know that it will teach you. Praise the Lord. It's what you know that it will also teach you. The perfect one to build your marital life. Is the hand of God. He said, men build house, but God build it all things, including your marriage, including what is not working your marriage. Is only God can build it for you. Praise the Lord. Is only God can build it for you. Amen. So your marriage life in the hands of the Lord. So your marriage life in the hands of the Lord. So shall you see good thing in your marital life. Amen. Amen.
So sow your marriage into the hands of God and see that good in your marital life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, let God build your home. Build your home in the hands of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. What say mighty God? I serve. What say mighty God? I serve. Hallelujah. Heaven night adore him. And Jeba before him. What a mighty God. I serve. Oh, you are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Who ever say no boy? Oh, could it tell me? Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Who ever say no boy? Oh, could it tell me? Hallelujah, Hallelujah. There is nothing you cannot do, protocol break heart. There is nothing he cannot do, Jehovah overdo. I have tested of your love, I have seen your mighty work. Mighty mover, my lover, oh your money be mine. That man you desire to marry is someone that built it. Amen. That woman that you desire to marry is someone that built it. Build your home, no one is perfect. Build your home, no man is perfect. Build your home, no man is perfect. Is it drunkenness you are facing your marital life? Pray God, hear prayer. Pray God, hear prayer. Is God will help you to conquer that power of drunkenness in your marriage. Don't leave your home because of drunkenness, because you see your husband is drinking. It's, by, it's your du duty as a woman to pray over that. It's not by argument, because when you are telling you, you are even worst it. The whole thing is by prayer you will conquer that power. It's by prayer you conquer that power. That's why it says, so your marriage, build your home. In the hands of the Lord, let the Lord build your home. He's the builder of all things. What is not working your marital life is God will help you to build it. Whatsoever you are facing in marital life is by prayer. It's not by fighting. Fight will not solve nothing. Argument will not solve nothing. You are just wasting the whole thing. What will help you is by prayer. God hear prayer. He said, knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Ask, you shall be received. Whatsoever you ask. He said, all thing is yours. Raka, Bozea. All thing is yours. See yourself that you go overcome. Over, over, overcome in any challenge you face in your marital life. Don't sow your marital life in the hands of the what? In the flesh? Because corruption. Because devil will like to choose them. And and if you want your marital to be saved, take it out for the hands of the flesh. Because then be the destroyer that want to destroy your home. That devil is going to use to destroy your home. Build your home. In the hands of the Lord. The scriptures say virtuous woman build, build their home. Build your home as a virtuous woman. Build your home as a virtuous woman. That you end up to be a blessing to your children. And be a blessing even to your husband. Praise the Lord. So, I'm still going to take you to this scripture. Or you can read it on your own. Colossians 3.16 You see, talk about that. Let me see. Let me just take it there. Praise the Lord. Is he talk about? Is he is he te telling us about that? Praise the Lord, because many people are always saying this. I always hear this word: patient, patient, patient. Marriage is patient. Marriage is patient. Who can give you that patient? Where can you find that patient? Praise the Lord. Where can you find that patient? Is you can't see it in the hand of God. You can't see it in the hand of the of the world. It's only the hands of God who can see it. Sorry to say, it's only the hands of God you can find that patient. He says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God that give to all men. It's only God that will give you. Is it wisdom to live your marital life? That wisdom will give you. Is we is only God that will give you that wisdom that passes through all, the, all understanding. It's only through God you can see it. You cannot see it in the hand of men. Even you yourself, you cannot do it by yourself. It's not what you can do by yourself. 
because a lot of issues come, come into marital life when you marry it's not the way that your husband speaks to you before it's not that way it's different because now you both of you are husband and wife you will experience a lot of things there when they say patient patient that patient is only true god you can find it it's only true god you can find that you can see that patient you cannot see it in the hand of men cannot see it in the hand of men, you cannot see it in the hand of your healer, you cannot see it nowhere, nowhere. It's only God. It's only God you can see it. Because if you don't be patient, they will be counting it for you. You marry this one, you don't have character, you marry the second one. Praise the Lord. But because where you live here, where you are still going, the same man. If you could not be able to put everything in the hand of God for God to help you, even this, the part that your way is not, it's only God can see help you. But the same thing will be remain, repeat itself. Praise the Lord. So he also says to us here, this Colossian 16, he say, Let the word of, of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Amen. Let this word of God dwell in you in all wisdom. Praise the Lord. Teach and, and, and dominion, dominion one another in Psalm. Praise the Lord. Let this word of God dwell in you. Is what I just want to take there. Let the word of God dwell in you. It's only that word of God will help you. It's only that word of God will help you. Because it's what you learn there can be able to teach your children when it comes to the aspect of teaching your children. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you can be able to hold your home, you will also have something to table to your children. Praise Master Jesus. You also saw good things in their life. Don't think that you are just doing to it. You are still doing to the life of them because what you sow, you shall reap. If you open gateway for devil, know that devil, the devil is the most dangerous, the worst enemy we have in this world. Praise the Lord. You always accuse this high your mother. Do you know that we give birth? Give back to marry, give back to woman. They are still going to marry. The men are still going to marry. Even the women are still going to marry. What are you sowing in your marital life? What are you sowing in your marital life? Is what you sow will help you. Is what you sow will also help that will help your children. Praise the Lord. And also remember what you are doing to someone old. Already know that you also have children. Praise the Lord. That's why you have to sow good seeds. So good in your marital life. Don't say because of things of this world. Don't even care. Praise the Lord. The lady come to my home. I try to solve this solve this problem, but I don't want to listen. I speak to her, I speak to her husband, but I let her see that it's him. Because you is we so desperate because of what all these all these people tell. Tell her, I will give you this, I will give you that, I will give you. Do you think that those people that give you all those things they are stupid? Look at who is giving you something, they even look like Chris person, the way that they, they dress. May God help them, Jesus name. He don't even have husband telling you, go and drive your husband, go and do this, go and do that. When you drive your husband, I will give you this, I will give you that. I speak to her, I say no. After the old thing, still yet. Just say that because of the husband, you don't do this. And later in the day, it's still the same person come, come to be saying that uh, uh, I the mama I want say I want prayer. What prayer are you looking for? Is you to go and pray for yourself? To me. Pray for yourself. After all these things, you are still seeking for the now. Praise the Lord. After all those wickedly, later you know that it's not the world those people are just they want to deceive you, just to destroy your home, all your home. Oh, your man, oh, your marital life. Don't let all those people deceive you. Because the demon in these people is even worse than us, than Africa. Africa, God still raised many prophets that see, that see deliverance of people. But all these people, devil here ready to buy your heart with money. But in many what they want, they want to destroy that you want that you want to stack her. That's why when you go there, they say, is it money? I will give you money. Drive your husband in the streets. Praise the Lord. And later, he's be the one that's crying. Fighting people. That cannot help you. Praise the Lord. What we help is for you to learn for your mistake. 
If you don't learn for your mistake, it will still continue. If you don't learn for your mistake, if you don't learn for your mistake, marriage is not easy. Marriage is not easy. Thing. It's taken by the help of the Holy Spirit. No one is perfect. It's taken by the Holy Spirit to help us in our marital life. May you see that good in your marital life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, at this scripture, say the let the word of God is that word of God will help you. When you be hearing the word of God, when you say you call yourself married woman, close to God, is God will help you. No one, no one, no one. And what he says to us here, yeah, Psalm 27, Psalm 37, verse 5. You can also read it on read. Read it on your own. You see, talking about that Psalm 37, verse 5. Here, yeah? you can read it. Let me just take it there before we come to, to share with you this word, too. Praise the Lord. Don't sow your marriage because of material things. Don't sow your marriage because of material things. Material things come, go. Praise the Lord. But that seed is so there is there. It's there forever. Praise Master Jesus. It's for you to help. It's for you to help your children. So that goes so that your children will also enrich that. Praise the Lord. The scripture says to us here. Yeah? Psalm 37, verse 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. What is not working in your hope, bring it to God. And he will bring it to pass with patience. Keep knocking. Knock until that door open up to you. You want your husband to change. You don't like the way the situation is. When you keep knocking, one day you see that that situation that you don't like, Almighty God will take it for you. Because sometimes, Sometimes it's just the way that we see things, but you don't know that if it's something of spiritual attack, praise the Lord. It's still by prayer because when you pray, something happens in the spirit. Pray. It's for you to pray. Prayer is powerful. That's why the scripture says to use in the air. Commit that way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. Commit everything to Him and He will bring it to pass. What you ask for, what you seek for. What you ask for, He will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, don't sow your marital life into the worldly things. Sow your marital life into the hands of God. Let God build your home. It's not what you can build by itself. Because a lot of things happen in marital life. Don't, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. So, I'm going to leave you here today. Next time, I'm going to talk about money in marital life. And it's still marriage issue. Money. Praise the Lord. Because this is most of problems that destroy many marriage. Many marriage. Even many so this problem, problem of money, don't know how to, they can't control their self. They even so kid themselves, take many so. So I will teach that next time. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. I'm going to leave you here. So your marital life in the hands of God. Let God build your home so that you can see that good in your marital life. Don't build your home in the hands of friends. Praise the Lord. The heart of men is full of wickedness. They are not like the way you think. They are worse than the way you see it. They are, there are many of them. They are demons. When we are talking about this devil, who is devil? This human being is devil. When you say devil, devil, who is devil? This human being devil. Praise the Lord. So your marital life is the hands of God. And you find out good thing in your marital life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, my dear brother and sister, if you are not giving life to God, 
to Christ is for you to give your life to Him. There is no other name among men that we may be saved. We may be saved. It's only through this name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is what will save you. He is what will save your marital life. Even if your marital a marriage that broken, His God will also help you to restore it back to you. If you are not give your life to Christ, say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sin. I know you come to this earth to die for me on the third day you rose again for me to be justified. Father, help me. I cannot help myself. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me to walk in the way of the righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you do that, we call to the family of God. He's not yet finished, and you need to baptize. You must baptize. You will baptize to see all this good you have to baptize. Praise the Lord, because it's not in here. If you are going to church that they don't preach of baptize, please look for somewhere to baptize. If I don't say that you should leave the church. You can also go back again, but it's important for you to baptize. For you to see every good thing that the Lord restored to you for you in your life in Jesus' name. So I'm going to leave you here. May the peace of the Lord be with you all in Jesus' name. Goodbye.